All right, everyone. It's the castle here. About to explain some stuff. All right. So in this particular case, I got uh, I'm making art. I'm building textures. I'm doing things differently than I did before in the past, where a lot of the stuff that I had created was, you know, a, little, a you know a lot more simplistic. I figured out a lot of techniques now that I never really used before to kind of create textures that um, that pop and you know they still have that retro style but they're still also using a lot of the stuff that the engine actually uses so like let me show you so like these are fully normal mapped but pixel art kinda textures so like when you know lights pass over them they they actually uh, they react to lighting with proper like it, it's it's infinitely better than the stuff that I've already done in the past for revulsion so one of the problems that I mentioned in the past is that the uh, the new content is going to uh, really look different from the old content and that's just because I've improved it isn't because you know that's it that's that's really all it comes down to so when you look at the old stuff in re in revulsion and then you, and then you start looking at the new stuff you're really just seeing that uh the the developer actually just got better at the art now there's um there's some interesting things that um are inspired here one uh, a lot of a lot of inspiration from uh the art style of like project warlock and stuff like that sorry if i keep breathing and then a mic um use the use of black uh around edges and another technique that I didn't really ever expect I would ever do and you won't really really be able to see it but I call them outlines now so when these textures are in full darkness you can still see an outline it's a little strange but it's part of the stylistic choice so even in complete darkness you still can kind of see stuff going on like you can there's still there's like a very slight emissive outline um on all of the textures so even in complete darkness there's like a you could still sort of make out like the details of what the wall looks like or whatever it just doesn't it never uh, um it never actually lets you you know get to a point of complete darkness and those those slight emissives actually kind of add a little bit more um pop to the textures in general anyway so right now um, it, one of the main things about working with normal maps and pixel art is that most of your shading is actually done in the normal map you'll spend more time working on the normal map than you will the actual uh, texture because the textures themselves here I can kinda show you so like I will literally right now be painting the normal map with you know by choosing from this palette and then just sort of paint it in. So like this is that dark you know this is the dark brick uh texture. This is the color map. There's no shading on it at all, right? All of the shading, I mean when you look at it in game, you'd think that I shaded it, right? But the reality is is that uh you want the normal map to do all the shading for you. Sort of, it 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 does the shading on its own. <laughs> it it's a system in which you don't have to do the shading, which is kind of funny because one of the hardest things when it comes to pixel art is the shading, right? Well, all you do is you kind of you just get some like base, sort of, color, um, you know, kind of tonal, uh patterns and then you draw uh, you draw black lines over it and then you spend time using the normal map to actually do the shading and um, yeah the end result is pretty good like it it's a unique style it it, it fits pretty well um, it's a hell of a lot better than what I was doing before and uh, revulsion 2 you know this is pretty much how the, re the art in revulsion 2 is gonna look now um, this is also how the new the new expansion for Revolution One is going to look. Dark, uh, Death Spiral is going to be using these kinds of textures, and um, 
it makes a huge difference when you actually get these into the real map. It's uh, it's not it's not like a small difference. <laughs> there's there's nothing small about this. Um, compared to the stuff that was in the game, you know, that's in the game uh, now. Yeah, this this kind of stuff just looks a lot better, a lot more interesting. There's a lot more going on. Um, I like it. I like the direction things are going. So um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing everything I can to get, just get a metric crap ton of these, and then props that are specially um, skinned. So I've never really done too much actual like skinning and you know unwrapping and skinning of of things. But I'm gonna make sure that I try and keep the texel densities uniform and all that jazz because it's extremely important when your pixels are this big. Um, and make sure that like when you place barrels and you place crates and everything like that that they're all you know they all have the proper uh use of the same exact technique but they're also unwrapped properly with proper textile densities and all that so um yeah this is pretty interesting um i'm having a lot of fun with it too it's actually really fun to do so like if you look here um i just started but here's like here's a metal floor color map here's um here's a dark brick uh here's a dark trim you'll notice like the tr you know maybe this needs to be lightened up a little bit maybe there's a little bit too much repeating going on here um you know but basically all i'm doing is i'm kind of just i'm kind of getting like base patterns that i like and then i can either turn this into a texture by itself using the normal map and everything like that. Um, actually, let me uh, let me see if I can... Is it a tonal brightness contrast? Let's see if I raise the brightness of this a bit. About 25. You also want the texture, the, the, the base uh, tile, to be um, uh, brighter so that the normal maps pop more. Um, when the doing when you you know you end up doing the shading and stuff. So, yeah, uh, Clip Studio not too bad for this. It, it's getting the job done. Um, you know, obviously Photoshop would probably be better, but um, not having any real issues or anything like that. I probably won't be generating normal maps for any of this stuff. So, um, pretty much all the stuff that I'm doing right now is. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be a lot of texture work, a lot of uh, normal map work, a lot of specular, a lot of you know, <laughs> the whole the whole thing. <laughs> um, essentially, the color map is probably the most complicated part of it, though. But like once you have this kind of a thing, you just draw over top of it, and then you start working in the normal maps and everything like that, and then you just get these really nice effects. Um, yeah, there's here's some of the new textures that are just base. These are just base. You know, very all of this is very much a work in progress, right? Like in this particular case, I might not even want to have these things in the texture because that's not part of the color map. This is this is shading. What I want to have is you know the um the the base sort of color of it, and then I would do this detail these details with the normal maps instead right but in some cases you got to kind of have to remember that like like when there's an edge on a metal frame or something like that 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 edge will usually be a little bit lighter because it's got more bumps and scrapes and stuff like that or more wear and tear um so like it does actually make sense that your color map would change depending on some of the actual details but usually in the case of like um pixel art like you don't I don't know if that really uh, matters very much. It it really ends up working pretty well just doing all the detail in the normal map and just having like a base material underneath. So I don't know. I'm I'm definitely uh, going with a lot of different stuff here. Um, I've uh, I've got some of the terrain stuff. Maybe it's a little bit too busy. Um, but this is the sort of uh, like grass. We got some soil. We got some rubble here. I noticed right away I saw this. Um, 
you got to look at these from far away so you can get an idea of what you're dealing with here. I think I see another one. <laughs> yep. Um, some of these will have uh, auto-generated normal maps. I'll use GIMP for that. Just because normal mapping something like this by hand is probably Im impossible <laughs> to really do it properly. Well, I don't know, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Actually, it would probably work fine. Um, the only thing is is that this, again, has all way too much shading going on when it's the normal map that you want to have all the shading on. In other words, this this would probably almost be better off if it was more flat, and then you just have normal maps that do all of the uh, you know all these crevices and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe there'll be some kind of like uh, middle ground that'll have to be met and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you really don't wanna you don't wanna um, do too much of your shading anymore. So that's actually kind of an interesting thing about this entire art pipeline. Is that like if you're doing normal maps for pixel art, you're removing the hardest part of uh, pixel art, basically. But then you have to kind of accept that, like, I don't know. There's like some middle ground that you, you know what I mean. It's like um, it's it 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 feels it feels really weird. It does make the the art pipeline easier, um, I guess. Mainly because making a texture like this is a hell of a lot easier than, you know, uh, going all out with pixel art and, and shading everything perfectly, like making these bricks look perfect. Um, but, you know, when, you're, when your normal map just looks like that, <laughs> and you, just, you just sort of hand-painted that by, by yourself, like, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of interesting. It changes, it changes things a lot, like... It's not just a, it's not, it's not like you're trying to do something that's, I don't know. I, I really don't know how to describe it. It's a, it's a different process, very different, but it's still easy to build quite a bit of content very quickly. So, um, I'll be getting as much stuff in place. Maybe, I don't know about, uh, as far as tonight, but tomorrow, um, yeah, like there's going to be. A bunch more textures and I'll be able to show off this you know uh, additional textures and I want to try and get some more of the more fancier like you know um, beams crossing and um, the kind of quakish stuff that you might see like uh, a wall that has like uh, panels in front of it with with like a thing in the middle or or um, I want to I want to get a nice you know decent like repeating floor I, you know one of those old tropes where the you know the diamond shaped floor uh panels i kind of want to do something like that um uh like and then have like a sort of i don't know i don't know the sky's the limit i'm i'm just i'm just getting started on the art so uh this will be pretty interesting and man once once you can use this kind of art for actually like building the maps it's uh pretty nice. I've already got a little bit of testing done with uh, uh you know getting these textures in by just sort of like you know kind of messing around with it and getting it working, and it makes a really big difference. <laughs> but you also but I also noticed that I have to work a little bit on the uh, the the UV mapping and a lot of the props because they don't have proper uh. They don't have proper texel densities in some cases, so I'm going to have to... There's going to be a lot of going back and forth, and uh, with that said, actually, there are quite a few... Um, there are quite a few requests for things like windows with glass, pipe supports, trim, uh, round trim, um, you know, smaller rubber rubble piles. Uh, that was one thing that Hawkins w requested. And stuff like that like there's just going to be a lot of new stuff just rolling in and it's going to be really possible to just make like really really interesting looking areas very very soon uh with this level editor and uh you know just knowing that the hierarchical instancing is in place as well like man this is this is going to uh, uh accelerate very quickly and i actually think that one of the fun things about working on art is that when i show the screenshots i can actually get a little bit of a response from people because i don't know 
I don't think anyone's even watching me. I don't. I. I mean, other than you guys, like, there's maybe four or five people watching, and here I am with this like crazy in-game level editor and all this stuff like that. Like, there's gonna have to be a breaking point where it's like, hey, um, by the way, this guy's like doing this right now, and like <laughs> maybe like some attention or something. But I don't understand why how, or how, like. It, it's it's got fucking hierarchical instancing. It's got uh, you know what? It's multi. It's fully multiplayer level editor. It's fully in game. <laughs> I don't know. At some point, something's going to have to happen where it's going to be like, hello. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> It's gonna be kind of crazy to, you know what? It, it, it'll be it'll be weird because I'll I'll end up probably uh, um, being you know s s remaining about where I am as far as like uh, you know uh, following and stuff like that, and I'll be I'll be just like breaking out stuff that like nobody else is doing uh, on a level where it's like as a solo developer I'm just like destroying shit, and you know. And with like multiplayer level editor and stuff like that, and and probably still nobody will know who the hell I am. Like no, nothing. There will be no nobody. It'll be weird, man. It'll be like, you know, I'll I'll put out a video where I, you know, I built an entire open world fucking thing, and like it's fully multiplayer survival, and it has like a uh, art style that's just like this, that's consistent, and you could build your own guns, and there'll probably be like five people watch the video. <laughs> That's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's impossible. It's impossible if I can get people to notice anything. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But um, in a way, it's kind of funny because I'm wondering how long, how long it'll just stay that way. Is is it just going to be this way forever? <laughs> like even after I'm like rocking some crazy ass shit. Oh. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna end the video. Uh, you know, uh, stay tuned for more. There's gonna be a lot more art. This is the art phase, and being able to build stuff with this is gonna be crazy good, really good. I'm gonna enjoy this. Can't wait to see more art. Actually, this will be cool. All right, take it easy, guys.